Hey guys, what's up? So, let's pick this up over at Micro Center. It's a sort of top top. Pretty awesome deal actually. It's uh, it was three twenty nine, and it's a Dell Latitude E seven two five zero Core i five. Um, 120. I, I, none of this stuff doesn't matter to me. The SSD drive, but I might upgrade that anyways. But uh, Windows 10 Professional webcam. Let's take a look at this. So I'm kind of bugged. My truck got broken into last last uh, night, and they took my my work bag, my high dollar bag. They took my laptop and my high dollar food tools in there. So I've been robbed twice in one year. And before that, I had never been. I've been living in this my current house for 13 years. Never been robbed. So this actually, this, last time they went in the back of my truck. This time they went inside the truck. I don't know how the hell they got in there. Rantec my truck. And got my laptop bag. So the reason why I got this laptop is because it's tiny. So Windows 10. Sure, there's a couple of different reasons why I like this laptop. But number one. 12.5 inches. It's tiny. That's actually what I want. I don't want to have some huge laptop, um, heavy laptop. I'm carrying around in my, in my test bag, you know, where I keep my toners and network testers and, and little fluke testers. So, actually, I didn't even think. I didn't even actually see if uh, if I could actually. I did. I bought a 16 gig SSD drive uh, or 16 gig RAM upgrade. And then my SSD drive. I'm gonna put my uh, existing Samsung I had left over. This is a uh, 250 gig. So and uh, so yeah, I actually came with Windows 10 Pro, which is cool. And I guess there's a sticker on there. Where's it? Right here. Okay, so you scratch that off. Silver scratch off layer. Oh, so you can see the whole key. It's interesting. See that right there? So you can, if you so to see the whole key. You scratch off those numbers right there. Okay, so yeah, another, since I'm an IT guy and I, I troubleshoot networks, I uh, needed a, a real Ethernet port. And a lot of these laptops, these small, thin laptops, they don't come with Ethernet ports now. So I had to make sure that that was uh, on there. A couple of USB ports, HDMI. Uh, I'm sure there are a few more ports here in the front here. All right, so, but for me, I gotta get this. Yeah, my mind's a little. Bit, I'm a little annoyed still, you know. My, uh, like I said, I came out in my truck door. I noticed how I went out um, side my front door where my truck was slightly cracked open. I go in and uh, I'll show you a couple pictures in a second. And the whole thing is ransacked. And my laptop bag is gone. So, door's locked too. So, <sighs> okay. All right, well, before I break this in, let me figure out how to do it. All right, so let's do that. So that is how you take the battery out, just a little slip. And then there's a couple Phillips screws here. Look at my Phillips, and we'll be back. And I'm looking for, hopefully, there's two slots for, for memory. All right. All right, so it looks like two screws here. And here. This is an interesting laptop. I, I didn't even think to do this, but I just pull this forward. Okay, cool. So there is two dim slots. All right, let's see what I got going here. These, this should be four. Yeah, four gig, four gig. So, yeah, eight gig is not enough memory for me, so I'm going to put 16 in this thing. This is not even good memory. The Crucial is really expensive right now. I usually would use Micron Crucial memory. Um, but it wasn't on sale right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm bugged. I have to install all my software again. Uh, all from scratch. So hopefully this RAM works. You know, you never really know until it's you fire it up and it's kind of like so, like I said, I haven't even fired this thing up yet. You saw me come, this thing just came right out of the box. So, and where is the hard drive, actually? Okay, 
this is your Wi-Fi card here. Okay, so this is a that's a wireless WAN card right there. So if I wanted to have like a cellular internet, I could actually have that right there. This is my um, my Wi-Fi card, and actually, I just realized that this is actually not even a. Uh, it's a uh, what's it called? I think this is the solid state drive right here. So there's not actually a hard drive in here, like your typical 2.5 inch hard drive like this. It's actually uh, I forget what this is called. The, the PCI. Uh, there's a certain name for this. This is actually kind of flash. So that's actually the hard drive right there. Well, 120H I guess maybe should be fine. I mean, I'm not doing a lot of stuff on this thing. I mean, this is solely for programming routers and firewalls and troubleshooting. So, um. Okay, well, let's put this back together and we'll fire it up real quick. Okay. Alright, the screws. Yeah, usually what I do is um, when I get a new laptop, even though this thing actually has Windows 10 already installed, the first thing I do is format this thing. I don't want any hint of spyware on these things because these manufacturers, they put tons of spyware on these things. So, adware, spyware, you know, I just, the first thing I do is I format and reinstall Windows from scratch. So, but I want to make sure it's activated first with Windows 10 Pro, and then I'll go back and reinstall it. That way it's activated later. Even though I do have a key, it doesn't make a difference. But it just makes it easier if I can react activate it now. Okay, so this is the first fire of this thing. I, mean, I do actually like how small this thing is. That's cool. So, And the other thing too is the battery. I can't stand that when the battery stick out the back. That has like the extra extended battery in the back. Because I want this thing to be tiny just to fit in my little laptop bag, you know? It's, it's actually not even, it's a tool bag, it's not really a laptop bag, it's a, it's a design for techs, like PC techs, on-site techs, so you can carry tools and, we'll see if the memory worked. Sometimes Dell can be, they can be picky with the memory. Alright, we got a problem. So I'm thinking they might not like the memory, so be back. Alright, so I'm gonna fire it up like this. Took out the memory, the new memory out. And let's see here. Let's plug it in again here. I'm not gonna even bother putting it back together now just because it's if I do have a memory issue, then I will have to go back tomorrow and get another memory. Yeah, Dells can be picky with the lab, the, the memory sometimes. Okay, that worked. All right, so let me try. That sucks. So yeah, definitely this memory is something up with it. Try it one more time just to make sure it's seated correctly. Let's see what's up. That's gonna suck, man. I mean, I'll still get the wind. I'll still get my applications installed. So that's not big of a deal. But so what happens? It, it turns on, and I, I stop getting video. Then the power goes out here. So what's happening is this, this power button is going off. So definitely doesn't like this memory. I don't know if I have. Actually, it's fine. I didn't even check to see if I had 16 gigs of DDR here. I don't think I do, though. Well, I'll go through that. Okay. All right. Well. 
clean. Now you see what these laptops look like internally. Oh, well. A couple seconds. So I'll have to put this other RAM back in and since I can't do the SSD drive upgrade, I'll just drop that. Well, I might look and see tomorrow how much these, these cost right here. Alright. Get that going and uh, that's it guys. Pretty cool laptop, you know. Yeah, I figured this might well, this is not exactly great memory. Um, so I might have to go back there and get the micron. But uh, okay, awesome, awesome. Well, not awesome because I got ripped off, but awesome that I got a new laptop. But cool.